Hello, my name is Kalila and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I built my credenza. I started off by gluing up some 1x2 select pine. These will be used later for the legs. Once everything was glued up, I had to wait for them to dry and so I got started cutting down my 4x8 sheet of birch plywood. Here you can see me using my circular saw attached to the Craig rip cut. This works really well when cutting down large sheets of plywood. And when the leg pieces were dry, I was able to cut them down to length. Most of this build was put together with pocket holes. Here you can see me using my Craig K5. It works really well and I like getting all the pocket holes done before assembly. Once all the pocket holes were made and the sanding was done, I was able to start putting things together. Because it was a possibility that I'd be staining this piece, I decided to apply edge banding to all the exposed edges of the plywood. Here I'm using my jigsaw to make some cutouts on my bottom piece. That way this piece will fit right around the legs. Once I had the bottom piece in place, I secured it with some trim head screws. And to help prevent sagging, I added some support legs to the middle. Next, I got started on the doors. Again, I'm using Select Pine. Once everything was cut to size, I routed a groove on one side of each of the pieces. Again, using pocket holes and glue to attach everything. Here I'm using a concealed hinge jig. This allows you to drill cup holes for concealed cabinet door hinges. I purchased these hinges off of Amazon, so if you would like a link, let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. 
Because I wanted my back panel to sit flush, I used my router to cut out a groove. Here I'm measuring and then cutting out the piece for the back panel. Once the back panel was on, I installed the doors and some magnets to help keep the doors closed. To prepare the surface for stain, I used a tack cloth to get all of the dust, and then I used a pre-stain wood conditioner. When it was time to apply the stain, I went with the color fruit wood. I did the exact same process to the doors as well. Once the stain was completely dried, I applied a polycrylic in a matte finish. I'm a huge fan of caning, but not a fan of the price, and so I decided to use burlap to give a faux cane look. I used my shelf pin jig to make adjustable shelving. I'm so happy with how this credenza turned out. It's a multifunctional piece that I can use in many rooms throughout my home. If you like DIYs, home renovation, and woodworking, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments so I can answer them for you.